Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog and I am sitting in my car waiting for an appointment and I got here about 20 minutes early because I knew if I came any later there would be no parking at all. So I made myself a cup of coffee and as I was leaving um, the mailman came with this book called Scandinavian Dreaming which I recently purchased because I've been looking at a lot of interiors and like home things lately and actually the reason I wanted to do this whole vlog is because tomorrow we're getting floorboards put in our house which is just so incredibly exciting to get rid of this 20 year old carpet that looks as you might imagine it to look after 20 years. It's the middle of the day and I'm just going to carve out a little bit of me time and drink my coffee, read my book and think about how great the home would look tomorrow after floorboards are put in. I am home now and I'm just going to show you the mess. I really want to capture the before moment, so when I show you the after, it will be a little bit more exciting. I spent the last few days just bubble wrapping all my mirrors. If you can see the side of that, obviously didn't do a good job. I have emptied out that shelf back there. I do not know how anyone can be productive here. I know I certainly haven't. The only thing that's neat is my SD card holder, which I recently got to hold my many SD cards. I mean, that's cute. I love, I love storage solutions, so this is making me happy. This is a shocking situation, but after lunch, I'm about to take apart all these pieces and start moving them downstairs. Amidst this mess, I want to show you what I'm wearing today, um, which is a very casual, stay at home all day kind of outfit. I'm wearing this long sleeve t-shirt from Girlfriend. It's in this navy color. Um, which is a color that I've really been liking wearing lately. It's very comfortable, very stretchy, which is nice. I just searched up the name of it because I actually can't remember. It's the R&R &R long sleeve tee in the navy color. And I just got mine in the extra small, which fits me quite well. And I'm also wearing it with these um, trousers, which are nice and wide and comfy. These are from Rowey, which I shared in my loungewear lookbook. I thought I was showing you my jewellery as well, it's probably the most exciting part of this outfit. I was feeling quite blah this morning when I was getting ready, I just felt like my skin's not spotty, my skin's pretty clean lately, but I've just got a few spots on my chin that's kind of a little bit painful. I thought a bit of jewellery was what I needed today to really feel um, a little bit better. So I popped on these earrings, these are from Monica Vinader's New Daya collection I believe. Um, so they're just like little hoop earring, but they have a really cool shape to them which is a little bit different from my normal round hoops. And I also have this little necklace also from the Daya collection, which looks something like this. Lately, I've been completely obsessed with these hay crates. I have about I think 10 if not like 15 of them, something crazy like that just around the house to store things in and mostly I like them because you can collapse them if you're not using it and the fact that they just are really fun they come in all these different colours, I've chosen the light yellow colour but they're just a cute way of doing storage you'll definitely find something a little bit cheaper around but I think you're looking for something unique for your storage these are, these are my favorite things lately, like my favorite homeware bits lately. Okay, pour myself a little bit of orange juice and I thought I would share with you the little playlist I've been listening to 
as I clean. I've really been enjoying these two playlists, I just came across them randomly. And the first one is called Songs for Imagining Your Parisian Life. And the second one is a very chic Parisian playlist for your aspiring French lifestyle. Both of which I could relate to. Um, and I just find the music quite uplifting when I'm feeling a little bit down. When I'm feeling a bit nervous, it makes me feel relaxed. I think it's partially because I don't understand. And they're all really like nice melodies and it's just nice to listen to. It also makes me feel like I'm traveling. Um, just like the sound of something foreign Which is a nice break when you're just at home all day. This is what the two playlists look like And I just randomly alternate between the two I thought I would check back in with you guys. Um, it is now 5 16 and I'm kind of over it to be honest. I've been going up and down the stairs all afternoon, actually all day to be honest. Well, actually all week. Um, and yeah, it's mostly done, but there's still quite a few things. What's getting me through though is knowing that I'll have sushi tonight. We, because we have so much um, like moving still to do, we're gonna go get sushi takeaway from a local spot and the sushi there is amazing. Like they just have the best special rolls where they do like quite a bit of sauce and there's quite a few things in there but at the same time it's not too heavy it's it's like just the right balance so that's very exciting i love that spot so much i'm actually gonna take my boyfriend there tomorrow night so i'm having sushi two nights in a row and can't complain Here are some of the books that I have moved downstairs and I really want to talk about this book which I just finished reading last night. It's called The Fountains of Silence and it's about the 1950s in Spain when they're recovering from the aftermath of the Spanish Civil War in the 30s. Obviously it is fiction and it's, you know, it's a historical romance but it's not the trashy type. I feel like there was actually really good evocative writing and I love the fact that there were probably about four or five characters that the story was moving between and I just love all the different perspectives that just came into one story. I would definitely recommend this book, I thought it was great and it actually really reminds me of this book. How gorgeous is this afternoon light though? This book is also about the Spanish Civil War. The time period is a little bit different but the setting is very similar. This story has two storylines again, so similar to this, you've got multiple storylines and it's about a girl in the modern day, if not, you know, later in the 20th century. And then we're going back to the 1930s to look at the Spanish Civil War and what happened um, to La Russa. So this book I actually read about five... I think I read this book about five years ago. And this one just reminded me of this. It is Sunday morning, just woke up and like rolled out of bed and I thought I would take this chance to do to do a face mask um, a turmeric and cranberry seed mask from Kiehl's so I used to actually make my own turmeric mask but it got a bit messy because it would just stain everything I mixed turmeric, honey, I think a bit of milk as well so I'm kind of excited just to have like a tub of it and this doesn't stain things as much I imagine there's a little bit less turmeric than what I put in but I've used it two or three times since getting it and so far I just feel like it does exactly what I want it to it has a bit of an exfoliating effect as you're washing it off I love the turmeric ingredient for brightening some like acne spots that I used to have or like pigmentation and it also just makes my skin feel a little bit more healthy
Floorboards went in really smoothly yesterday. We didn't come across any issues. Um, the people went, we went with, like, they were all super friendly, which was great. And it was just a really smooth process. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment. It looks fantastic compared to what we had before, obviously. Um, so it's all very exciting. This mask makes me look so scary once it's on. Um, but it is great. So I'm meant to leave it on for about 10 minutes and I'm just gonna wash it off my hands. Make you feel free, be mine tonight and feel your blue sky within. All the trips we had are adventures. All the waterfalls and the wild water. My skin feels so incredibly, I don't know, just really, really smooth. It definitely feels brighter. Um, and I can't say that about all masks. There are a lot of masks that take off and I'm kind of like, nah, nothing's really changed. Um, I made myself a coffee and I'm just gonna do my skincare now. Yesterday, because we were moving things around, I put all of my daily skincare beauty bits into this Hey crate. It's been very handy just to have this thing to take around with me. Makeup brushes definitely needed would clean because when they were doing the floorboards, and I should have known, but I didn't, um, there's actually just so much like dust from like cutting the wood that goes absolutely everywhere. Um, so there's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done today. But look, it's a very, very small thing. I have just been editing away at this vlog and I realized I have such a serious face when I'm, when I'm like working and I'm just thinking back now to when I was in my office and colleagues would come up to me and ask if I was doing okay like it all makes sense now because I just look like something seriously bad has happened I'm just like permanent bitch face when I'm working so that was like a, something I learned today. Um, anyways, I am going to go downstairs and make a quick lunch because it is two o'clock. Just having some chicken noodle soup for lunch. This is the best thing to make when you don't want to spend too long. Literally just chicken broth, um, some cabbage, and some leftover chicken from last night. So super easy and Chicken soup was pretty great for lunch. I poured myself a glass of wine because it is Sunday. And not because I felt like wine to be honest. I had a bottle opened and I just want to finish it up before it goes off. I also changed out of my other outfit for no particular reason other than that I felt like changing. This is just really loose and comfortable and it's also a little bit less heavy than the linen trousers so quickly popped this on instead. I absolutely love this dress. I'm so annoyed that it sold out so quickly so I don't want to talk about it too much but it is from And of Stories and fingers crossed that it comes back in stock. And for jewellery, I have on exactly the same jewellery as earlier and as yesterday. I definitely should be putting all my stuff back to be honest but I'm honestly feeling just a little bit lazy. And also, I don't just want to put things back, I actually want to properly organize everything this time around. So I'm going to try and make a day out of it tomorrow, which is why I'm doing a little bit of work today. I feel like I've been working most of today, I haven't really gotten up to much on this Sunday. 
which is very odd for me because at the very least I would normally go out for brunch on a Sunday or do some shopping or just, just do something. So because I've been working today, um, I might leave some of the cleaning and all that stuff to tomorrow and switch my Sundays and Mondays around a little bit. I just took my fresh laundry off the line. Nothing like fresh laundry to be honest, nothing like fresh bedding. So I'm just gonna put it on. All of my bedding is linen. I am such a fan of linen bedding. It is the probably one of the best things I have ever purchased for the home. I just have my flat sheet for the moment because I didn't get to do my second load of washing today which is like my duvet and some like pillows and cushion covers It's been so hot that last night I just used this and it was perfectly fine It was actually more than ad adequate So this is done for now Hello everyone, it is Monday lunchtime and I've just been editing away at this vlog and I'm about to head down and have some Thai food leftovers from last night. We got a pandan curry and it was amazing so that will be good. I did some organizing this morning which has made me quite happy. So in this drawer, I basically um, use velcro strips to organize all of my cables. I have a lot of it, um, so that was nice. Like four pairs of headphones, I finally velcroed them, so they're not always tangled. What else is on my agenda for today? Um, I am going to film a reel after lunch, so I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes. I tend to be pretty bad at multitasking, and that's probably why I never show you behind the scenes of making videos and making social content just because if I do one thing I forget about the other, vice versa. I've also been looking this morning at the possibility of working with a videographer maybe just once a fortnight. Fingers crossed this happens. Um, I would love for it to happen because it would just mean that I can put out a little bit more on YouTube and also share a little bit more on Instagram as well. So I'm getting very hungry and I'm just gonna go down and heat up my lunch. Okay, I finished filming my reel, feeling very sweaty, it's so hot today, um, and I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. I filmed the what I would wear kind of video, like to, to work, to the gym. So I've got my Pilates mat, I've got my glass of wine, which I'm just gonna drink I guess. Um, I have a glass of, I have a coffee. I really enjoyed that. I have this new blazer I want to show you. This is my new blazer. This one is from Cezanne and I really haven't had a chance to wear it so I'm not going to talk too much about it but I tried it on for the real and I absolutely love the fit of it. I got the size 34 and it looks really nice on. Actually, just let me quickly show you. I'll feature it in an upcoming transitional or spring haul video but this is what it looks like. Obviously not with this outfit but I do think that the fit of it is really good. I might still get the sleeves shortened a little bit. It's probably like a centimeter or half an inch too long. But I mean, it's a pretty good fit. The lining's so pretty though, look at it. It's like a pink with gold dots. Very girly. I'm honestly so sweaty I can barely talk. So I'm gonna open all my windows and doors and try to cool down a bit. I am just about to head out and do some grocery shopping. 
maybe have a wander around the shops as well. While I'm there, I also want to head into Mecca, which is, I think, Australia, New Zealand's biggest beauty retailer. It's kind of like a Space NK slash Sephora-ish. I don't really know. Let me just take you into the other room. just want to show you the, the beauty stash. So this is my makeup collection. This is basically everything I use on a daily basis. And then here is my stash that I'm not using right now, but I'll, I'll occasionally rotate out. I'm pretty happy with the size of it. Honestly, I use pretty much everything. There's a few things I haven't been using, which I think could go, but for the most part, everything gets used. There's this particular hourglass blush that I've been wanting to try, so I want to go pick that up. And then I just want to have a wonder through. Lately, I've just been using this same eyeshadow palette, and I do feel like I could do with a bit of a refresh. Not like a refresh as I'm getting rid of it, just like I wouldn't mind trying something new. My other eyeshadows are these two palettes from Smashbox. And I've also got this one from Innisfree. So basically, there's a few things that I would love to try. So I'm going to pop out to Mecca and have a wander around and see what we find. Hi everyone, it is the next morning and I should finish this vlog off last night and then went to edit it and it was just so grainy I just couldn't upload it. So um, I thought I would share with you what I ended up picking up from Mecca, which I kind of already unboxed but just gonna quickly show you. I ended up trying two products from Hourglass and Hourglass is definitely one of my favorite more like bougie makeup brands. I had this Hourglass um, Diffused Light Powder and this is probably my third powder that I've used up, hit pan on all of my other two which is quite rare for me because powder products just take me forever to use up but I love the Diffused Light Powders, always have I ended up getting this one in Radiant Magenta you can probably tell I've already swatched it but I just absolutely thought this was the prettiest shade it's got a cooler bright pink but it's also mixed in with a warmer beige colour which I just think is really, really pretty combined. I also picked up one of their Scattered Light eyeshadows and I chose the shade Rapture. I think the colour of this is absolutely stunning. It's a pinky burgundy colour and it's got lots of little gold shimmer, which I just think is so pretty. It reminded me of something else I have. It reminded me of the Tarte Chrome Paint. I have this one in Park Avenue Princess. Because I have the Chrome Paint from Tarte, in this goldish brown colour, I opted for a more pinky burgundy shade for the Scattered Light um, shadow. So for my eyeshadow, I might firstly use the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. Morning Alarm. This is what I use most days just as the first step of my eyeshadow. Usually I'll just kind of use this alone if I'm in a rush, but I just think the formulas are really good. They're very easy 
super quick just to glide on and they don't crease during the day so it's very easy to use take um, one of these flat shader brushes I don't know if I should apply it with my fingers and just like tap it onto my eyes or use a brush I might try with a brush first just using this brush So this is what it looks like on. It is quite dramatic, super beautiful. I was worried that a brush might not pick up that much color, but it did, and I just kind of blend it with my fingers because it's quite dramatic, but I love it. It's very pretty. I'm also gonna grab my Innisfree palette and then use this brown shade, just a little bit in the crease. I makeup done and trying the blush now. I like to go very light on my blush, so what I normally do is that I kind of swirl my brush in and then I'll wipe off some of it on the back of my hand. Just because I have like this fear that my blush will be too strong, which is why I haven't used blush in quite a few years and recently gotten back into it. So um, I am using my Sigma Large Contour Brush. This is the only brush I have, so it's going to be this brush. I don't know if you can tell, it's very subtle, but I can definitely tell in, in real life. But I've just applied it on my cheek here. I hope this shows up on camera. It feels like a very natural flush, which I like. There is just something about hourglass powders that is just so silky soft. Like just incredibly silky, that makes it apply a little bit easier. Um, there are times where I use other blushes and I feel like it's almost like a little bit clumpy in the application where certain parts are a little bit patchy as well. Whereas this was just incredibly smooth. Like you can feel it in the powder when you touch it and I can, I feel like you can see it in the application as well. I'm so happy with this. I, I knew I was going to love it because I love the normal hourglass powders, but wow. So to finish things off, I'm just going to go in with the diffused light powder. Obviously, I've only used the blush once, um, so only time will tell how much I actually love it. But first impressions is very good. Totally forgot about highlighter. For my highlighter, I use this RMS highlighter in Champagne Rose. Looks something like this. For some reason, I just never remember to put on lipstick. Um, this one I'm using today is the color Mildred Rosewood, and it is one of the Gucci lipsticks in this packaging. It won't focus. It is 8.40, so I'm just about to start work for the day. Um, work starts at 9, and I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit before I start work. I'm wearing the Cezanne Gaspard knit, and this time I'm wearing it with the buttons at the back. I do almost always wear it with the buttons at the front, but I just wanted something super simple today. Necklace I'm wearing is from Monica Vinada and has this really beautiful pearl in the center. The little shorts I'm wearing are the Dorian shorts from Cezanne, which I wore yesterday and showed earlier. It's a very simple outfit and I do have a lot of Zoom meetings today, so this is a little bit of a cuter outfit than what I normally wear. I am wearing a lot of Monica Vinada pieces in this video. This video is not sponsored by Monica Vinada, but they have recently gifted me a few pieces from their new Daya collection, which I was wearing throughout the video and also this beautiful necklace. So if you guys are interested, they've also passed on a 20% off discount code um, if you're looking to treat yourself with a little bit of a luxurious jewelry pick. I am in the midst of planning quite a lot of transitional spring or autumn content, um, depending on where you are, and I'm very excited to be sharing that with you guys soon. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later.